So Vicki asked, what are some tips for preparing and planning to start stations? So one of the things I often encourage teachers to do, if you're really new to station rotation and you're moving from a whole group teacher-led fairly linear agenda, take your agenda, turn it on its side, pull apart the discrete learning activities to ask yourself, could these work as stations if I wasn't going to march the whole class through it in a linear fashion, but instead wanted them to move through it in a circular fashion? That's one place to start. The second place is to, as you're planning your initial stations in a station rotation, really keep an eye on balance. So we wanna lead a teacher-led. It is very tempting not to lead a teacher-led. I think teachers are so scared of what might happen at all these other stations that they say, you know what? At least for now, I'm not gonna lead a station. I'm just gonna move around the classroom and observe, answer questions, assist as needed. It's not a very rewarding experience at the end of the day. I think it's much more rewarding to lead that teacher-led station, figure out how to differentiate it so you're getting closer to meeting your students' needs because at the end of that lesson, you're gonna feel like you did a great job, um, even if you know there were some bumps along the way at the other stations. So I would say focus on a teacher-led station, your online station and your offline station. And at least in the initial rotations, don't throw new activities that students are unfamiliar with at them. Start with things they're already familiar with so they can get kind of comfortable with actually rotating instead of feeling like they're acclimating to this new type of lesson and all of these new learning activities.